Hello everyone. I'm in the garden here, tying up my tomatoes and peppers. Looks like we've got the first ripe tomato of the year. A sun gold cherry tomato. All the peppers are growing nicely. And the Buena Mulata and the Jimmy Nardello are producing quite a few peppers, which is the earliest I've ever had. I'm interested to see if these real cheapies, dollar or two at Tractor Supply, hold up through the year. I guess it depends on how big the pepper plant gets and how big the peppers are. Some peppers are smaller and don't weigh as much, so I think they'll be fine. Planted a row of these American giant sunflowers in the back of the garden, and they say they grow 15 feet tall, so that'll be impressive if it actually does. Well, I'm gonna harvest some cabbages this morning. It's definitely been well past 70 days since uh, I transplanted them. You know, there's some real good ones here. Nice size. It's a little smaller, but good. And then some real tiny ones, and the ones that really got hit hard with the bugs. Here's the feral cabbages, they got harder hit by the bugs, but got some decent looking heads of cabbage though. And the stone heads, they didn't get uh, hit too hard by the bugs, but they're maybe only a, might leave a few of them in the ground. They, some of them aren't as firm. a little wash station set up here. Well, here's the start of the cabbage harvest for the spring. Planted uh, eight farrow cabbages here. Two of them were total failures. But the rest came out really nice, even though a lot of the outer leaves had bug damage. The head of cabbage is in real great shape. This one grew real nice. So I'm pretty impressed with that variety. Produces a little bit quicker than the stone head. And over here we have the Primero red cabbage. It uh, planted six of those. Two of them were total failures and obviously a couple of these are really tiny. But don't really use them for much other than tossing in salads and maybe my lady will make some coleslaw with them. 
but I'll go and harvest the stone head and uh, compare. Well, I planted uh, six stone heads. I left a couple in the ground because cabbage heads weren't very firm. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to declare the Faro variety the winner. These are, the plants looked healthier, not as much bug damage, but uh, Stonehead was a lot smaller head of cabbage, so I think I'll be growing farro in the future. And uh, plus at my local greenhouse, I think they sell Stonehead cabbages, so you can always go there as a backup plan. Checking in on these uh, red core Chatonet carrots that I grew in the grow box. It's not very deep. So not the best kind of planter for carrots, but well, I'd say that's a pretty decent looking carrot though. So I'll probably continue to plant carrots into these grow boxes. They work pretty well.